Right, so, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we've got a really exciting video for you all. I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup starter kit. Everything is, I've got everything from foundation to lip liners to lashes to, and everything you can buy from the drugstore. So, and yeah, thank you so much for 1.4k when I'm filming this video. It's just so mad to me that I've got that many of you all. You're all so beautiful and I love you. Oh, I like us all the time. Um, but... Also, I'm really filling my outfit, okay, so the, the top half, not as good as the bottom half, right, ready for it, so top half we've got like, nice tweed blazer, and um, this nice top from Zara, okay, and the, but the thing is, I'm really, really feeling the bottom half, so, we have some pajama bottoms, okay, but wait till how extra it gets, Well, look I'm wearing these shoes, hang on, like, look, how extra am I today, that's like, I can't show you, but look, I'm wearing these, like, Primark shoes that are, like, Valentino's, hang on, for God's sake, with these fluffy white socks and unshaven legs for, like, two months. <laughs> Let's cover that, but how extra am I? I really want to hit myself in the head. Yeah, shut up. Anyway, I've got loads and loads of things to show you. These are all very cheap, affordable products, so if you're a person, age, could be old, not old, could be 40, could be nine. Could be four, could be thirteen. If you haven't, if you're starting off makeup and you haven't got enough, like, you don't want to spend all your money on makeup, you just want to go to the drugstore. Well, like this video is for you, for y'all. <laughs> Look at my nails, I love them. And also ignore my makeup bag. I was trying to find a cute one, but all my cute ones are like really small, and I was like, nothing's gonna fit in there. This one is hideous. So we're just gonna go with it, and I'm gonna pull everything out and show you. So, the first thing I have in here, obviously, what you've got to start with, the first thing, is primer. So the primer I have for you is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Multi Action Primer. And this does so much. And I've literally used tons of this. This is one of my favourite primers in the world. I have never really talked about this before, actually, because I've so been using it, but it's probably one of my favourite drugstore primers. It works well for oily and dry skin, because I've had both of them in my life. And this has worked well during both. And it just, it does all these things, smoothens, resurfaces, brightens, I don't think it brightens, um, mattifies and protects, they do all them things, besides brighten, I don't think it brightens. But um, this is so, so good, I think it's literally like a 6 99 So, you've got Primer Fix for 6 99 like, goodbye Chanel, like Chanel's better, but this is the best one from the drugstore in my opinion, and the e.l.f. one. But I just thought, so that's your primer, you've got your primer, boom. That's your primer. And then you're going to need something to cover all that face up, aren't you? No, I'm joking. And the foundation I have is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum. This is honestly so, so good. I wouldn't recommend it if you have dry skin because it does not go nicely onto dry skin. If you have dry skin, I don't really know. Sorry. Because when I had dry skin, I still used it because I couldn't be able to find another one. Because I had dry skin like a year ago. I have really oily skin now. Like I could, li when I don't have makeup on, I could put my finger there. You can see like oil and juice all going down my hand. Okay, that's not over exaggeration. But this is seven ninety nine, I believe, and so so good, especially for oily skin or even combination skin or normal skin. Just not for dry skin. This is so so high coverage. It the I think the color range is quite good, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, the color range is quite good. It's just. In my opinion, I think it's really good. And it's beautiful. Oh, shut up, Summer. Okay, so you got your primer, your foundation. Now, you're going to need to cover them under eye bags that you have when you don't get enough sweet sweep. Who can guess what concealer I have? All right, quickly, guys, comment down below what concealer you think it is. Bullish my radiance reveal, of course. Oh, that's the wrong way around. Look, I've used tons of it, but you need to get this concealer. It's... I can juggle. So, so good. Look, so now you've got your free products. We're going to juggle them, don't worry. How do you actually juggle? I'm sitting here in my, in my high heels, yeah, juggling makeup products. Have you ever seen a more extra person? How do you juggle? All right, I do it with two. This concealer I've rabbited on for like in so many videos, so many times, but this is so 
brightening and it's so high coverage i've never really used it on spots because it's too brightening for spots and it's just if you put it on your under eye you will look awake you will look like you're ready to start the morning you're ready to drink your tea and you're more ready it doesn't matter what tea could be normal tea could be the tea of the of the drama could be sipping both but this will get you ready for that. Oh my god, what am I talking about? What am I actually talking about? This will make you look like you've had some good beauty sleep. Okay. Okay, you got that on. Now, you're going to need to set that face. You're going to need to powder that face. The powder I have for you today is the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is really good. You can see I've used tons of mine. Um, that's so satisfying. Um, this is really, really good. I actually scraped it a bit, but I don't care. I've gone through about five of these powders, that's such an over-exaggeration, I've gone through about three. But um, it's really good and this is so good. I actually hate the packaging because you do not know how many times this is shattered in my bag. Quite a lot, okay. This is so good and it smells really nice. So it smells like, you know, like your nan. It smells like your nan, not my nan. People of you know when like you smell your nan's face and it smells like makeup, like this is the nanny smell. This is the smell of your nan. Go smell your nan, then smell this. They all set, smell the same. Probably because nuns use this. No, I'm joking. But, um, yeah, this is a transparent one. This is literally £3.99 or £3.19, I don't know. Oh, yeah, and this is only £7.99. So, you're doing well so far. You've got your primer, your foundation, your concealer, blush. Blush? No, we haven't started that yet. Okay, so your powder. So, you got your powder. You, your face is looking good, flawless. But, you're looking a bit boring. Your cheekbones aren't snatched. Your nose ain't snatched, ain't, I've never said ain't before, That's your, your nose isn't snatched, your jawline isn't snatched, so you've got to get that contour out, my, my friends, oh stop, and for today I have for you the sleek contouring palette, so you can actually stop here and use the blush and highlight in this, but let's ignore there's no blush and highlight, so that's what it looks like inside, and it's from sleek, like I said, okay let me cover that up because it will reflect, now you can just give up with blush and highlight but i wouldn't recommend it because i don't like these two at all this contour is so good like i use tons of this before i got my anastasia one sometimes i go back to it that's a huge lie i don't because i want to use up my but it's such a nice color this is in shade light but they do it in medium and dark and it's so 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 good it will give you them kim k cheekbones without surgery it will give you them that jawline you've always wanted and you don't and i think this is about 10.99 so it's a bit more expensive but it's so worth it compared to like a 40 quid Anastasia one. So yeah, you got that. You're looking a bit brown. You're looking a bit brown. Well, we'll bring some peach into this face. Of course now, you're going to need a blush. So again, I love bourgeois, if you can't tell. Bourgeois blush, and it is, they do them in so, so many shades. This is one of my personal favourites. And I'll show you. So that's it there. And... You can't see it at all, but it really does show up in real life, I promise. And it actually smells like your old, your nan as well. I was going to say your old lady. God, help me. Help me, please. This is in the shade um, Golden Lilac. This is perfect. And there's another one in there, but I picked this one up quickly. <laughs> because this was... Yeah. But this is really good. These are literally £6.49. So we're looking a bit sh not shiny. Like, we're now we've got everything but we're looking still a bit flat we need a bit of shine in our face we need that natural sunlight that glow here we have a revolution a vivid baked highlighter why am i trying to make like a pun out of everything this is in shade golden lights but their peach lights one is amazing this is just as good as the next high-end one like oh, whoa i want to be like um shit I do that again. Look at what we are facing there. Like that is what you call blinding. My, hey, you get your highlight. This is so blinding. This is just this is three pound. Three pound. You could pick up the whole range. I'll just move my camera. I will. It's honestly so brilliant. Okay, so you've done that now, and now you're thinking, hmm, my eyebrows look like a priest of poo. So you need you like my eyebrows are a bit bald. So here we have the NYX Taming Frame Eyebrow Pomade. This is so good. I do like my Anastasia one a little bit more, but this is honestly the best one ever. This is actually my second one I've been through. 
I've actually completely gone for it. They, the colour range on this is amazing, I, th I think. It's for a drugstore brand. This is only £6.99. And it's just honestly amazing. It's so smooth and creamy, but not too, like... It doesn't, like, wet. But it, it doesn't look too drying for your eyebrows. It doesn't, like, all crispy. And it just goes on so lovely. And it does them well. It does them well. And it's only... It's just cheap. And it's... It, this lasted me forever. Like, literally, like, seven months. And I used it every single day. Eyebrows. You've done your eyebrows now... You're thinking, right, I need eyeshadow. My eyes are looking like they have their missing, long-lost daughter. The revolution Soph does now is eyeshadow palette. I don't actually get as much use out of this as I would like, but this is, like, <laughs> the, um, one of the only drugstore palettes I have, so I'm like, I've got to put it in there. And it is so gorgeous. I've used this a couple of times, but I really need to get some more use out of it. If you want a video of me doing, like, a um, glam look with this... Oh, it's really pretty. But um, this is really good. I did a first, impre a first impression on this. 8, 12, 16, 20. Oh, it says it on the back, don't it? 24, yeah. It comes with 24 beautiful shadows. And I just love Sophie. She's amazing. She's so nice. Shook. Stop, stop. Okay, you've done all that. You're thinking... My eyes are looking bald again. So you put your mascara on. This has actually gone off because I've had it for ages, but it was my favourite drugstore for, um, mascara. I see Revlon Ultra Volume. This does what it says on the packaging. It gives you that ultra volume. It gives you that... I was going to say it gives you that glow. It don't give you glow, but you've got your Revolution highlight for that. Oh, and by the way, this is in my giveaway. It's not just that. I didn't just do a giveaway of a £3 item. I'm not that mean. <laughs> This is really good and this gives you length. It curls. Oh my god, it curls in volumes. This is amazing. I need to pick up a new one, but I've had it for so long. I'll show you the brush. Oh my god, it's gone really dry. But yeah, it looks really clumpy, but it's not clumpy one bit. Yeah, okay, so now you're nearly done. Wait for it. You got. Oh no, I forgot my eyeliner. Oh my god, your eyeliner. So if you. I know a lot of people can't do eyeliner, but. If you want to get eyeliner, the Soap and Glory Soup Cat Skinny is the way to go. This is, honestly, amazing. That's just a thin line and a thick line. So easy to apply. It does like that perfect wing. wing. I've tried about only three eyeliners, but this is the best one, definitely. This is so good. And I know a lot of people don't like this. I don't know why, because it's brilliant. It doesn't bleed on your face. And it's amazing. Okay, and yeah, now we need some lips. So my favourite lip li line up. It's probably the NYX suede ones. These are really good. And they're so pigmented and creamy. And then my favourite drugstore lip product would have to be the Barry and Map Me Up. And this one's in shade Go To. These are really watery, so I'm actually shake them before. But these are so cheap. They're like 4 49 or something like that. This is just like the perfect nude. It's the shade Go To. And these just these are better than like... I used to have some Jeffree Star ones, but I sold them. Because I sold them ages ago because I needed money. And I was like... They're just sitting there, like, wasting their life. And these stay on all day. You don't hardly have to top them up. You do a bit, but so you have to do, like, most ones. This is so, so good. And lastly, you need something to set that face of yours. The Maybelline Superstay Setting Spray. This smells horrible, but you've got to get past that. I mean... This makes your mind... Why do I talk? Why is he still there? This makes this makes your makeup last so much longer without it with, and with when you don't spray it on your face. It makes you look refreshed and it looks, makes you look more bright and it just makes it last longer and look nicer and not as cakey. Anyway, um, if you've got this far into the video, I'm, this is going to be a new thing I do. Should we do a new thing? I'm going to do a question of the day. If you were to buy a product from this video, what product would you buy? And also put the emoji, put, let's put a strawberry, let's put a strawberry, I'm feeling strawberry. No, let's put the high heel emoji. Love you so, so much, you mean the world to me and thank you for 1.4k. I love you more than you'll ever know. Bye.